Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're back with our VR number codes. Now in this video, we'll be going through the topic number codes, how to attempt certain questions, and which methods to take, depending on whether you're finding a code or if you're finding a number. Now 11 plus verbal reasoning exam requires a, a good level of understanding, logical thinking, and an analytical ability to answer the questions framed in words using the reasoning concepts. And throughout this video, I'll be helping you and your child to improve your logical thinking by providing many 11 plus practice questions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the word number codes will simply test you on matching letters to numbers. In these questions, there are four words and three of the words have been given a code. And the codes are not written in the same order as the words, which then means that dare does not reflect 1435 and dram will not reflect 5231. So we need to work out the correct answers and choose the correct answer from the four choices available. A good way to work out these codes is to find two words which share the same letter and then look for two number codes which share a number in the same position as the shared letters. And for example, what that means is that if we take the letter D, that is in position one. And if we take the letter D, that is in position four. So we simply need to find a number which is in position one and four. So again, we can see one is in position one and one is in position four. So we can simply say, that D is equal to one. So once again, look out for two number codes which share a number in the same position as the shared letters. These can be tricky, so be careful. And you will get more than one mark for each correct answer on the actual 11 plus verbal reasoning test. So take some time practicing these questions and be sure to write down the code for each word as you find it. So again, just to reiterate, Start by looking for similarities in number codes, then see whether the positions of those numbers in the words above help you to match the codes of the words. I hope you're all set now, so let's get started. So to begin with, we have the four words which are dare, mead, where, and dram. And now we need to work out the code for dram. So the first approach I'm going to take is what I mentioned, where I have D in position one and D in the last position and one is also in the first position, and one is also in the last position. So that matches, which means that I will allocate the number one to D. Now we need to get R, A, and M, or DRAM. So now we found our first letter, let's now take a look at our last letter, M. And what I've noticed here is that M comes at the first and the last position. So what number can come at the first and the last? And that there is going to be the number five, which comes at the first and the last position. So we can simply attach that five to the beginning and to the end, which means M will equal five. I hope you can see how this is slowly building up our number. And already we can see that the only number out of the three, which starts with one and ends in five, is one, four, three, five. But now let's go ahead and prove that. So let's go for the letter A. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm working through the most common letters or the, the patterns that are much easier to find. So for A, we know that it can either be in the third position or the second position. So let's find a number that can be in the third or the second position. And that there is going to be the number three. So again, I'll label that as three. And that leaves us with R being four. And that's one, four, three, and five. And again, we can see that the R is seen as our third position and four is also in our third position. And so we can match that up. So the code for the word DRAM would be one, four, three, five. I hope that was clear. Let's now remove all of our annotations and let's go to question number two. So find the code 
for the word ream. Well, we already know that r equals 4. We know that a equals 3 and m equals 5. So now we need to calculate the letter e. So again, e comes in the second position and the last position. So we know that 2 also comes in the second position and the last position. So we can simply say that e is equivalent to 2. So our answer here will be 4, 2, 3 and 5. And again, I hope you can see how I've matched up the positions of the numbers as well as the letters. Marvellous. Let's go over to question number three. So find the word that has the same number code as six, two, three, and four. So again, let's label our letters. We know that two is E, we know three is A, and we know four is R. So now we need to find out the letter six. So again, if we take a look, we've calculated D and M, so we're only left with W, which is our first letter, and that is six. So now we know our answer is where. Beautiful. And that there is an introduction to your number codes. Okay, so that being said, let's go into our second set of questions here. Again, we've been given four words and three numbers. And again, out of these words, we've got the numbers one to seven that we're working with. So again, let's start with the most common words here. So again, let's start with the more common letters here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to see is that the position P comes up as our first position and our third. So that being said, I can also see that three comes as our first position and also the third. So I'm going to allocate three to P. And then I'm going to see that E comes last in many positions and four also comes last. So I will allocate four to E. I will then see that A comes in the second position almost every single time. And we also have two in the second position. So two will be A. And then finally, as we can see, we have two, three, and four. I'm going to allocate one for C. So our answer is one, two, three, and four. And that is your cape. And this will now help us to calculate the remaining questions. So with that being said, let's now move over to part. We know two is A. Now we know that P is three, so we have three and two. So now we have to work out R and T. So again, let's take a look at T, which can be the end and the beginning. We don't really have one at the moment, which is the end and the beginning. And if we take a look at R, R is in position three, and the only number in position three that doesn't repeat itself is six. So I'm then going to give six, which means T will be my seven. That's three, two, six, and seven. And I've done that through deducing. Okay, let's go over to our final question then, which is question. Okay, so let's go to our final question in this series. So find the word that has the number code one, two, three, four. And again, that is a repeat. That's helped us out. Okay, so let's now move over to question nine. We have a slight error here, so I'm gonna change this to three, two, one, and four. So again, we know that three will be our P, two will be A, and we now look for one and four, where one is C and four is E, and that is pace. Now this work. Beautiful. You've done really well coming this far. Don't forget to pause the video at any stage, attempt the question, and then press play for us to go through it. Okay, let's move over to another set of questions. So again, we have four words and we have three numbers. So let's go ahead and begin. And I'm going to start off with the letter S. You can see that slow and sail both start with S. And these two numbers also start with one. So I'm going to allocate the number one to slow. And that's going to be for S. Next, we need to look for another code or a letter that matches. And we can see that. 1368 and 1932 both have a three in the second and the third position. So we need words which follow that pattern and the letter L works, which is now in our second and our third position. So we will now allocate the number three to L. 
And again, as we start with one and three, we now know that O and W can be six and eight. And that would also help us to calculate the next question, the word sale, where again, one is going to be the S, L is three. So again, we can allocate one, nine, three, and two to the word sale. I hope that was clear. Let's now go over to the third question. We now need to find the word that has the same number code as 3914. And since we know that S equals 1, then 8214 must have an S in the third position, which means I will allocate West to this specific number. And knowing all this allows us to say that 3914 would be the word last. So let's take a look at how we know that. Slow and sale both start with S, and 1368 and 1932 both start with 1, so we know these two codes match those two words. Next, we'll look for the other letters that match, and we can see that they both have 3 in the second position and the third position. So we need words that follow that pattern, and we found out that the letter L works with that. And since S equals 1, we can then allocate west to 8, 2, 1, and 4. And knowing all that allows us to work out 3, 9, 1, 4, which would then be last. So keep up the great work and let's go into the next question. So again, we're going to start with the commonalities. And instantly, so I can see that rude, dale, and type all end with E. And 1653 and 5423 also end in a 3. So we know that these two codes match. So again, 3 equals to E. Next, we need to look for other codes and letters that match. And I can see that 1653 and 5423 both have a 5. One in the third position and one in the first position. So we need a word which follows that pattern. And that there would be the letter D, which is the third position and the first position. So now we know it ends in 3 and it begins with 5, so I'm going to allocate 5, 4, 2, 3 to Dale. And with that being said, we now know that rude can also be found by having 1, 6, 5, 3. So that's rude found and that is Dale found. And since we know that R now equals to 1, 9761 must have an R in the fourth position. And so now we can allocate poor to be 9761. Knowing all this allows us to find the value of 9793. So we'll take 9 as P's, we'll take 7 as O, and we'll take 3 as E. So our answer is Pope. Marvellous work. Okay, let's move on to our final set of questions here. So again, look for commonalities. Remember that. So again, I see last and meet, which both end in T. And 8647 and 5437 ends in 7. So we know those two codes match those two words. And next, we need to look for other code and letter matches. And we can see that 8, 6, 4, and 7, and 5, 4, and 7, 3, both have a 4 in the second and third position. So we now know that A is in the second and the third, so we can allocate 4 to being A, and 7 to being T. So that will allow us to calculate meet, which would be 8, 6, 4, and 7, and last, which would be 5, 4, 3, and 7. And since we know that m equals 8, we now know that 1, 4, 5, 8 must be palm. Marvellous. So we've got our three words allocated to three set of numbers. And knowing all this, let's go for our bonus question to find the code for the word tape, where we know t is now going to be 7, a will be 4, p is 1, and e is 6. Marvellous work. And with that being said, that brings us to the end of our topic. 
So I hope this was a clear introduction to number codes. I hope you can now see how to work with these type of questions where three of the words were given to you and the codes were not written in the same order. Don't forget that a good way to work out these codes is to find two words which share the same letter and then look for two number codes which share the number in the same position. Make sure that you work systematically and neatly writing the correct letter before the correct number. Once you start to break the code, it usually falls into place quite quickly. And if you follow a system similar to this, you should be able to break the code and avoid guessing the answer. Though if you are completely stuck, a guess is better than a blank answer space. And just remember, when you are completing a verbal reasoning test in multiple choice format, the correct answer will always be one of the choices that you are given on your answer sheet. And if your answer does not match one of the answers that you are given, then your answer is wrong. And with that being said, keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next video.